Okay, so, let me start this table real quick. So, for those of you that have watched my, my pinball streams, you'll hear me say the term a lot. Double flipper bitch. I believe the term was first coined, um, pinball legend of Bowen Karens. He does a lot of tutorial, uh, a lot of tutorials on these tables and stuff. I think he was the first one that coined it. I think. But anyway, what a double flipper bitch is, if you look at, see the double, see the double flippers down there? See that big old gap right there? Big ol' gap right there. If you mistime that... Okay, not actually gonna play the table. Bro, ain't gonna matter much anyway if the ball's just gonna drain, but... So, but... Anyway, if you, um... You mistime that flip, the ball's just gonna go... Right on between... Right on through the flippers. Right on between them. So, this table is an example of um, why patience is important. That it's it's actually pinball 101. Or let me let me rewind a little bit. I've extended that definition to include. There's an easy way for me to do this. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So, I've extended that definition to include whatever the ball, like again, whatever the ball just squeaks right between the flippers. Like when you, when you pop up the flippers at the same time and the ball just boom. Just kind of like bouncing between one of them and then go straight down like that. I call that a double flipper bitch as well. Um, to me, it's a derogatory term. That means you fucked up. Because uh, it's pinball 101. You don't pop the flippers. You don't pop them both up at the same time. You only flip. You only use the one you need. But the problem is, is um, to this day... I can't, um, I can't stop it. Usually, whenever you see me popping both up like this, this is me going, ah, 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 you know, me getting all panicky and stuff. That means I, I don't have, that means I don't have control of what's going on in, you know, that kind of thing. Which, again, I've been playing pinball for almost all my life, since childhood. I really shouldn't be doing this at all. I should be at a level where, you know, one at a time, or one side at a time. But once again, it's, it's, I don't want to say, an, for lack of a better word, an instinct that I can't get rid of. It's kind of like fight or flight. Okay. So, but um, this table is one of those tables where it gave it gave birth to the term double flipper bitch. So it, which again, it's when you have a when you have a table that has double flippers like this, you mistime that flip when the ball's coming down and slips right on through. So. so here, let me let me restart the table. I said, what important attribute to have in pinball is patience. You don't just you don't just go all slap happy with the flippers or anything. You know, you wanna 
there was a cool saying I heard some time ago. I can't remember what it was, but basically, you want to flip with a purpose. Now, I'm no spring chicken. So, you know, again, sometimes I just get in a hurry and just plop, 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 and then end up shooting the ball where I, where I don't want it to go. Like that. Double flipper, bitch. And typically on this table, I usually aim for the uh, drop targets on the left. I can do there again. I was trying to avoid. I was trying to avoid the double flipper bitch. <laughs> 